Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find parameter ID. So parameter ID is like the 20th century automation tool that is also predominantly used in the 21st century in the SAP world, where you will set some values and that will come automatically every time you go to a particular transaction. A simple example can be you are setting up the company code. So whenever you want to open up FBL1N, you will open up with a certain company code only, with one company code. So that will help you uh, reduce the number of keyboard clicks, reduce the number of making mistakes because you might be stressed out. You executed the report for all the uh, company codes and then you, you know, you it goes for a task. So let me show you how you can find it. Okay, so I'll just go to SC11, okay, and I'll concentrate on the procurement one, okay, and the procurement one is, I'm going to concentrate is, I'm on EBAN, okay, and here I'll just click on this, and then what I'm going to do is, I'll just scroll down, and here you can see, set get parameter id so from here you can find all the important parameter id that you can think of related with pu purchasing okay so you can see items you can see the selection prior parameters all these things that you can think of you can you can get it and this is specific for a particular module okay so you might say why i'm not getting works which is uh, which is planned because that's not specific to procurement it's specific for the other model okay so you can you can find all these things and this will really help you in order to uh, make your uh, life easier in the sap world where you don't have to enter so many information and you can use some default values